Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday. It is a Monday in the middle end of March 2023 and I am going to um, vlog this week because I just thought it would be fun. Um, so this is not going to be like a formal week in my life vlog. I'm not going to be showing you everything that I do this week. I don't have the energy for that, quite frankly, um, but I am just going to film some bits and pieces throughout my week and kind of take you along. Um, it is early afternoon right now, and my home health nurse just came and changed my dressing on my line. And so now I'm about to set up some fluids, send some work emails, make some medical calls. I'm very, very tired already, but um, in a little bit, I have a feeding tube study online via video call that I'm getting paid to do. Um, if you saw on my Instagram, I also got paid to do a feeding tube study in person last month. So I'm joking that this is like my new side hustle, or I could just fully quit my job and just like get paid to do feeding tube studies now for a living. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, um, I enjoy doing that kind of thing. I enjoy helping. Um, it'll be a little bit of extra money, um, yeah, so this week may or may not be very exciting. My fatigue and pain have been very, very high. Um, but I'm just going to show you all of it, or not all of it, but some of it. And let's go. When Joshua is playing a baseball game and I'm here watching, I text him like my commentary and snarky comments and updates and stuff throughout the game. Um, and they just pile up for him to read after the game. He loves it. It is Tuesday afternoon and I just got done with a wound care appointment. It has been, it's only 2 p.m. It's been a very long day. I'm feeling rough. I was talking, I had an appointment with my sleep doctor this morning and we were just talking about how low my quality of life is right now. And I'm just kind of realizing that like, maybe this is my new baseline and I should adjust accordingly and I don't like that. But anyway, I just saw wound care. I got referred to wound care for my stoma of my feeding tube. Ever since I had, so my admission last July, I won't go into the whole story, but basically my stoma prolapsed. Um, and ever since then, it has just not been the same. It's been very painful, like so much blood and drainage and it keeps like splitting. And so there's infection risk cause there's like a bigger, it's really complicated to explain. And it's also kind of gross, frankly. I mean, it's kind of weird that I'm just walking around 24 seven with an open wound in my body. Like there's just this hole where there's not supposed to be. Anyway, um, <laughs> Long story short, I saw wound care to try to help with the pain and mitigate the infection risk. And um, they were awesome. I loved the doctor, I loved the nurse. They were wonderful. And it turns out my stoma is still a little bit prolapsed from everything that happened last summer. 
Um, and they put some stuff on there to help the with the skin breakdown and the split and everything. Um, and they are sending me home with some more creams and stuff. The stuff they put on there, I'm supposed to not get wet for four days. I already can't get my central line wet when I shower. Now you're telling me I'm supposed to also not get my feeding tube wet? That's gonna be fun. But anyway, um, also they wanna see me back in a week. And with my level of fatigue right now, I'm like, I don't know if I can do that next week. Anyway, so long story short, I saw wound care and it was a good experience. I hope that I will have less pain around my stoma now. And now I have to go make an Amazon return. So I need to find a UPS store or something. I have been trying and trying to find a good basic white tank top that fits and is comfortable and is not see-through. And this one was not it. So I need to return that. And then I feel terrible. So I really just need to go home. But I there's a Barnes and Noble right on the way home. And I have a Barnes and Noble gift card from Christmas that I have never spent. So I might stop in there and just look at the journals really quickly. We'll see. So I made my Amazon return and there was a boba place next door. I tried boba for the first time recently with a friend and it wasn't my favorite. I got like the milk tea. So I thought I would try it again. Um, I got, the guy didn't really speak a lot of English and I'm not really sure what I got. It says raspberry made mango popping boba. So it's like a can. Well, it's plastic but and then the boba are down here honestly i have no idea what this is but we're gonna give it a try so the drink just tastes like raspberry lemonade mm. oh that's what popping boba means i just got a boba and it like exploded in my mouth that's kind of fun I think I like this better than the normal boba. The boba are yellow, so I'm not sure how well you can see them. I feel like trash and I'm going to bed. Hi. I'm trying really hard to work on the um, song that I'm writing right now. So I have something to bring into my um, lesson this week but I'm mostly just really frustrated about how tired I am. I'm really sick of every minute of every day being such a massive struggle. I woke up from my nap at 5.30 yesterday. All I could do was lay on the couch for a couple hours and then I went back to bed at 8 and went to sleep and now it's 10 a.m on Wednesday and I'm just so tired it just takes so much to get through every day one of my pet peeves about renting is when the rental company has to do like mandatory inspections or whatever and like today they're cleaning dryer vents or something so I had to clean out the laundry room. I didn't clean out the entire laundry room. I did not have the energy for that. I just did a little bit of it. And I'm like, if you need more, you can do that yourself. So then like, I can't just go to bed and take a nap or whatever. Cause I have to be prepared all day to answer the door for whenever they come. Cause if I don't, they just come right in. And it's, it's just a personal pet peeve about renting. But thankfully today it is 11.30 and they have come and gone so I can freely shower and nap later without worrying about someone walking in on me. And as you can tell, I need both a shower and a nap. But first I've got to try to do some work. When it comes to placement of my head voice, I feel like I'm just floundering and shooting in the dark when I don't have 
and my teacher to help me. A song that no one knows. Boy, that's how it goes. Just John and me forever eternally chained down. And I'm mad. But I say we're not dead now. We're in France instead now. Let us not be sad. The night's young and rushes are mad, so let's live in the land of yesterday. Live in the grand imperial heyday. Let's live in the land of yesterday. Russia, Russia. Let's put on the fancy clothes and let's while our woes away in Russia, land of yesterday. And then I have to reassure myself that I can still belt. My neighbors love me. Let us not be sad, the night's young and Russians are mad, so let us not be sad, the night's young and Russians are mad, so yes, I can still belt. <laughs> it is later now, I have napped, I have showered, and I'm going to church um, for Bible study. We recently just finished the book that we were studying. Um, it was a really thick, long, big Josh McDowell book. It took us like six months or more than six months. It took us a long time. So um, tonight we're going to discuss and figure out what we want to study next. church um, in two weeks because I was out of town I wasn't feeling well um, two weeks is a long time so it made me really happy to be back tonight and it made me really excited as we are planning out um, everything that we are going to be doing for our Wednesday night Bible study we're changing it up a little bit and um, I think it's gonna be really good I'm going to make an announcement about it on Sunday and kind of explain everything we decided um, but yeah it was um, really good and really needed to be back at church and see everyone I just have to say that I am so freaking tired of constantly having to be the middleman and doing all this work. Like, why can my hospital and my home health company not just talk to each other instead of me making me go back and forth constantly fighting to try to get what I need? I am so sick of this, but no one else is going to do it. So, hello, welcome back. It is... Thursday afternoon, um, we're not thriving. <laughs> I did a couple hours of work. Um, I worked on a blog post about how to use chat GPT to prepare, prepare for a job interview. And I, um, worked on a blog post about cloud data security. And then I rested in bed for a while. I just, I have a migraine that I'm really struggling to control. So I'm in pain. I'm tired. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Um, I don't know how I can sing like this, but I just took a bunch more meds and I'm getting ready to go anyway. On Thursday afternoons, I'm at my um, music studio. I have an hour 
voice lesson, best hour of my week. Then I have a 30 minute um, songwriting lesson, which I'm not prepared for today. And then I just stay and hang out and use one of the practice rooms to play the piano, sing, do whatever by myself, um, which that could last anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, today, I probably won't stay. My brother has a baseball game tonight that I would really love to um, go to, but that would be like a lot for any day. And I just feel so terrible. I just feel like trash. Um, I've probably said that like five times. <laughs> I am not trying to complain. I'm just being real vlogging with chronic illness. Um, this is my life, but, um, I love being in my studio. It makes me so happy. Um, so I'm getting ready. I'm going and that's where we're at. Let's do some makeup. I'm running late. Literally, I should already be there right now and I'm 15 minutes away. Also, it is hot out here. This is my happy place. <laughs> Each time you leave me, I start losing control. Like you walking away with my heart and my soul. I can feel you, baby, even when I'm don't let go Cause you're simply the best With things for years I've got it this time Want you to know Won't hurt you No, mama I lie Just for you done with my lessons it is about 5 30 um they were so good as usual it just makes me happy it's just a good thing in my life um on my voice lesson we worked on the ballad of jane doe from ride the cyclone i've been working on that for a while we talked today a lot about the character the lyrics got into some deep philosophical questions like what is a soul um and then we sight read some Sondheim just for fun fun not fun <laughs> and then um I had my songwriting lesson and we talked a lot about the like concept and question of the song that I'm writing right now which is um about like I don't know how to explain it concisely but like wanting to live someone else's life thinking their problems are easier or better than yours um and then i just hung out and played some renee rap gracie abrams chopin bach all the usual <laughs> suspects um and i feel okay i feel like i can keep pushing so i am going to drive to the ballpark for my brother's baseball game and i might not stay for the whole thing but i'm gonna go to at least part of it it's 87 degrees out here um so it's a good night to be at the ballpark and let's go. I wanted to stop and get a fun snack, but my stomach doesn't do fun snacks. So I stopped and got a small lemonade. Good enough.
it's almost 8 p.m. and I am leaving the ballpark. I stayed for almost the whole game. Um, and I'm so happy that it is spring. It's such a beautiful night out. It was so nice to be at the ballpark. Um, I miss playing so much, but um, I am headed home to crash. I am really thankful that um, I felt so terrible earlier today and I'm starting to feel really, really, really bad again. Um, but I'm really happy and thankful that I still got to have a great afternoon filled with music and learning and creativity and sunshine and connecting with people and spending time with people. Um, it was a really good afternoon, even with uh, feeling so terrible earlier. Good morning. Hi. It's Friday. I am sleepy. I had a very slow morning. I finished and submitted the two blog posts I started writing yesterday. I feel like my brain is just not working today. It's very slow going, but I have one more blog post to write. Then I have a meeting and then it's going to be the weekend and I'm so excited. So it's a beautiful day outside. So I think I need a change of scenery to kind of wake up my brain. So let's go sit on the porch and write this blog post. Who came to join me? What do you see down there? What do you see? What are you looking at? A dream of a day. Friday at 3 p.m. and it's a beautiful day and my inbox is empty and it is the weekend! I just got done with my interview. Wow, ignore the hole in my couch. I just got done with my interview. I had about a 40 minute interview with the PR person of my music studio. She is doing a piece on me as an adult student to send out to publications and stuff and it was really fun. Um, it just made me kind of like nostalgic and emotional and happy because we were talking about my experiences and my journey with writing and music throughout my life and how it got me to where I am today. And um, gosh, I just, writing and music, yeah. And it just really showed me like how those have been such constant threads in my life and how much I've had the opportunity to learn and do and experience in those areas and um it was a good interview it was fun um so now it's 3 30 p.m on a friday and i'm feeling better than i thought i was gonna feel my music studio has their big spring show tonight and originally i was gonna go and then when i was feeling so terrible earlier this week i was like i'm not gonna go but now i'm kind of like maybe i'm gonna go i'm not sure but it's warm outside, so I got sweaty. So first of all, I need to go take a shower and I really need to work on my brain just blanked out. Anyway, I have stuff I need to do at home, but I'm gonna be home all day tomorrow. So I don't know, but first things first, let's go take a shower. Helping me practice? Hi! Are you helping me? I had a lovely evening yesterday. I took a shower, I practiced voice, and then I got in bed and watched an episode of the new Shadow and Bone season. 
and I scrolled on TikTok and Tumblr a little bit and I read my book, which I just finished this morning. It's called Great or Nothing and it is a little women retelling set during World War II. So each of the four March sisters has a point of view and each of those point of views is written by different authors. So four authors. Um, I was really intrigued by the whole concept and the structure, but I wasn't sure if the execution would work out, but I actually loved it so much. It was really good. So I'm really happy. Um, today is my favorite thing in the world, and that is a Saturday at home. I am feeling worse than I expected or wanted to feel. Um, so I really do need to try to rest a lot, but I am also going to create. I am going to clean. I am going to not look at my phone or the internet or social media except for vlogging these videos. Um, so I am about to put my laundry in and get that started and then I am going to write some letters to my pen pals. Good morning. Did it rain last night? <laughs> if you see your envelope in this video before you get it in the mail, no, you didn't. It's Saturday evening, it's the end of the week, so it is the end of the vlog. I have my windows open, hopefully it's not too loud. But um, this was a long week. <laughs> there was good and bad this week. I struggled a lot with migraines and fatigue and just feeling very discouraged overall, um, sad, frustrated, down about where my health is, where it's going, what that means. Um, but there was also good this week. There was music and stories and sunshine and connecting with people I love. And honestly, that's why I wanted to vlog this week, um, was just to show and demonstrate to myself, um, the good that is here too. It makes me think of a um, a post by Shannon Berry. I relate to everything she has ever written so much, um, but I'll, I'll link this post in the description, but it says something to the effect of, there are worse things than a great life and glimpses. You are young, in love, and happy just a little at a time. Um, and that's kind of how I feel looking back on this week. Um, so that's it. Maybe I'll vlog more soon. I don't know. It was fun, but now I have to figure out how to edit and upload this video. So that'll be interesting. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's all we got. This was an average week in my life. Thanks for watching.